In terms of what it, it means, you know, Guyana has been in, in the confederation uh, circles and, and the wider football family has been notorious for some of the most unpleasant things. Um, we have done a lot of work in restoring and repairing our image in the international community. And I think this is so fitting that at this point, with all the good work that we've done, locally and internationally to be able to to now advance in, in, in what is clearly the number one tournament within the confederation would be a tremendous experience and, and, and i don't know how um what would be the emotional toll on on the players and the staff but um I, i'm starting to to, to kind of prepare myself for it because it is really uh, a significant uh, you know you you probably are looking for other words that you can use to describe it it's really uh, an, an, a, a tremendous accomplishment for, for Guyana first and foremost and then for our national senior men's national team. Um, so everyone will have a different experience there but I think um, it means so much for the country that, that, that we are at this point and um, I have every confidence that we will be able to get, get over the, um, the line at the end of the 90 minutes. <laughs> The Gold Cup is the equivalent of the FIFA World Cup within our confederation. It is the, the highest level of competition that we play here. And when you take into consideration that at a recently concluded Russia World Cup, Mexico, which is one of the strongest teams within the confederation, defeated the champion at the time, Germany. It tells you the quality of football that this confederation um, is producing. So when Guyana defeats Belize on the 23rd of March, we will qualify for that tournament. So in the month of July, when the World Cup is usually played, we will have to match skills with the likes of Mexico, USA, Canada, Costa Rica, all of the big players, Jamaica, Trinidad, all of the big players within the Confederation. Try to intercept in the Jaguars. Everybody don't entertain no disrespecting the Jaguars.